What is up insaners and welcome to another video of the World Cup Fantasy 2022. In this one guys, we're gonna talk about our team selection for match day 3 along with the best captaincy options for match day 3. So if you like the video today guys, make sure that you hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the Insanely Football YouTube channel for more World Cup Fantasy content. And with that, let's start today's video. Now coming to our team for match day 3 guys, we used the wildcard in match day 2 and we were able to make changes before that match day 3 window ended. So we have another team, a fresh team for match day 3 and this is what we're working with guys. So we have a triple up on the Netherlands team. So we have Noppert in defense in among goalkeepers. We have Dumfries and we also have Gakpo as a strong triple up in the Dutch team. Now there are question marks about who's gonna start for them, there might be certain rotation but I feel all three are strong picks, all three are gonna start the game and the Netherlands team definitely needs a result guys so I think these three are pretty much locked in in case if you are looking to play a bit risky, if you wanna go a bit differential if you have a bit more money in attack, you can maybe go for a Memphis Defy I think he's gonna be a great pick this week guys, I think he will be getting more minutes as we progress in the tournament and you can definitely go for him now other than that we have a double up in the Denmark defense as well guys I think Denmark has been a bit unlucky in terms of getting the results guys I feel there is a clean sheet against Australia Australia as we know aren't really a very clinical side in terms of scoring goals and I think the combination of Mela and Christensen can give us two really important clean sheets then coming to our midfield guys we have Musiala, Pulisic, Ziek and Perisic as a strong four in midfield they got a mid price range sort of fix guys they're not all premium they're not all budget as well but i think all of them are quite attacking in nature they will be scoring they will be getting points they can get you assists as well i think there's attacking potential with all guys musiala has to do well i mean germany has to perform well they have to win this game i think against costa rica there is a lot of potential musiala can get a big haul guys we've seen that he can get you attacking returns then we have pulisic pulisic also has to again perform well for usa usa still need a win to kind of qualify and I think Pulisic is a standout man in that USA team. The same can be said for Ziyech and Perisic as well guys. I think both of them also have good fixtures. I think Perisic has a trickier fixture in Belgium but with whatever's been happening behind the scenes, with whatever's been said in the press, with whatever comments KDB made, then there was the Wotongan issue and all that stuff happening. I think Belgium are there for the taking guys. I definitely feel that Croatia are gonna win this game and Perisic is gonna play an important part if Croatia attack and get us goals. So the midfield is pretty set. We also have Bruno Fernandes on the bench to come on in case if any of these picks do not work out. I think he's a strong option against Korea. Yes, there could be some rotation and if we get the team news and if he's probably getting benched etc. We can definitely change him with a transfer but right now we have Fernandes against Korea guys. I think it's a strong pick. In terms of our attack guys and this is where the captaincy kind of lies. We have Messi as one of the standout options in captaincy. I think against Poland is going to be a trickier picture guys but he can definitely do well against any team. We've already seen that whenever he and Argentina are playing well I think all kind of turns out pretty well and I think Messi has great potential even against a tougher Poland fixture then we have Mbappe as a second captaincy option guys against Tunisia now again there are rumors there are conversations that he might get benched but I just feel he's in great form at the moment guys and it might be very risky not to go with him even if we are trying to play differential I think he's definitely one of the must-haves this week also because of the fact that he's also a great captaincy option guys an alternate captaincy option if the Messi hall doesn't work out Mbappe is definitely there I think he could be a great pick then we have Gakpo, as I mentioned earlier guys, you can go for a Memphis Depay as well. But I think I'm going for Gakpo, he's pretty much underrated, I think he's gonna do well. I think against Qatar, they will definitely do a lot of attacking and there's a lot of potential in the Netherlands attack. In terms of our other bench options guys, we have Rochet in case if we need him to come on as a second goalkeeper. Then we also have Raum and Sosa as slightly cheaper options in defense. Raum has a great fixture against Costa Rica. There's a clean sheet in there. There's also an attacking potential. I think he should be fit to play this game and he's a good pick. And we have Sosa as well guys. He's one of the cheapest options, cheapest playing options in the game. It's against Belgium so maybe there's not a clean sheet but again, they could easily be a clean sheet, easily could be six points. I think because of the fact that we're trying to save in money, he's the best option out there. So this was my team guys, this was my team for match day 3. What do you think about this team? Are you ready with your match day 3 team? Do let me know in the comments below. Now let's talk about captaincy guys. Again in terms of captaincy, we've gone for a couple of differential options, but the standout options 
have to be Messi from Argentina guys then there's Mbappe from France as well again I would not suggest you to go towards Giroud I definitely would suggest you even if Mbappe plays limited minutes there is hall potential in Mbappe France are really an attacking side they will be scoring goals I think Mbappe is a good option similarly can be set for Messi as well guys again I don't recommend going for somebody like a Di Maria or a Martinez but in case if you are trying to do things different maybe if you want to go for differential options then those picks kind of arise then we also have a Brazilian attacker guys right now it's very difficult to say which one's gonna start and I'm assuming that Neymar is not in the mix he maybe will be fit for the knockout games but not for this one guys then there's an option of Richarlison and Gabriel Jesus I generally feel there's only one of them who's gonna start and whosoever starts for this game guys I think he's a great captaincy option yes it's difficult to nail one at the moment and I'm slightly inkling towards a Gabriel Jesus pick guys he's a differential he could be great for a one week punt and if you want to take a chance why not go there then there's also an option of going towards an England attacker guys England against Wales I think it's gonna be a tough game for England it's not gonna be straightforward yes Wales aren't in the best of forms at the moment but I generally feel they're gonna make it tight and make it tough for England but again Kane or Saka could be decent options I generally feel there's gonna be rotation in the attack but I think Kane is probably the safest option out there especially when you're talking about captaincy then again if you want to go a bit differential maybe if you want to target a different team a different set of attackers then Dutch team the Netherlands attack could be the one to target guys there's Gakpo there's Memphis Depay again depending on if you want to go safe if you want to maybe take a lot of risk etc you can choose your pick guys but I think both are really good options in terms of captaincy now do let me know what you think about captaincy who is your captain or who are the favored options in terms of captaincy for your team for match day three in the comments below so that will be for my side for this video guys i hope this team selection video was helpful in maybe helping you select your team for match day three if it was guys make sure that you hit the like button also subscribe to the insanely football youtube channel for more world cup fantasy related content guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one